All right, so moving along. So we spoke about um, the reason for wearing safety goggles and also the reason for the proper attire. So speaking of safety stuff, uh, safety gloves, okay? It doesn't matter if you're in a medical, biological, or chemical situation, right, or at a job. Um, there is a proper way to take off the gloves. So let's think about this. First, I didn't get into this, but there are many different types of materials for the gloves. There is a horrible story from many, many years ago now, but a chemist was working, she was working in uh, Pennsylvania with a very poisonous uh, substance, uh, methyl mercury. And the gloves that she was wearing didn't repel it, it absorbed through the gloves. And she actually died months later from poisoning, okay? So there are different types of gloves, all right? But in general, you have these, um, these neoprene or yeah, gloves. Basically, uh, they're non-latex, so you won't have an allergic reaction. Some people are allergic to latex. So here's the proper way to take off gloves. Some of you may know this if you have any family in medical. So the proper way to take off, take off gloves, because now let's think, you, you were working with somebody sick, and there could be bacteria or viruses or some dangerous chemicals on you, right? Or radioactive stuff, whatever. You want it outside, away from your skin. So here's how you take off gloves. Uh, I'm a righty, I'll start like this, but what you want to do is pinch without touching your skin, right? You really don't want to touch yourself. You want to pinch near the wrist of this glove and totally, completely turn it inside out, okay? All right, so now you have this glove inside out. Hopefully nothing was touching the inside, that's the whole point. So now take this glove that's inside out and use that inside out glove to grab this glove and turn this totally inside out. So if you, if you did this carefully, that means that anything on the outside of these gloves should have never have touched you and then these go in the basura, okay? So <laughs> there you go. That's how we take off uh, safety gloves. Uh, let's move on to the next thing I wanted to show you. So let's say in a horrible emergency, you do get something into your eyes. Again, if you have goggles on, you shouldn't. If you're working carefully, you shouldn't. But somebody next to you or you is screaming because they got something in their eyes. All right, what you're always going to look for in a lab is the eye wash station. So first, always use cold water because cold water at a low temperature makes sure that chemical reactions slow down. If you use hot water, that is a bad idea. Never try to clean chemicals off of you using hot water, okay, because that will speed up the reaction with your skin. So turn on cold water all the way, and then... <laughs> You pull that knob, okay? And as you can see, the water comes out like crazy, and there's a, there's a point to that, all right? When you have chemicals burning your eyes, you turn this thing on, and you shove your face in there, and you keep your eyes open, okay? And you rinse them for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Like, you don't move, okay? So you just open your eyes. If somebody's got stuff in their eyes, you help them uh, you help them like open up their eyelids and you get them immediately over to an eye wash station, okay? Even in the middle of like having somebody else call an ambulance or something like that, okay? So emergency eye wash station, you use cold water and you keep rinsing your eyes. You know, don't let somebody go, oh, I feel better. Like, no, 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 no. Like keep rinsing your eyes for a long time. Another thing that you should look for in a uh, lab or a job that has dangerous chemicals is uh, chemical eye wash. This can even be used if you get something on your skin, okay? So while somebody is helping somebody uh, who maybe got something in their eyes continue washing their eyes out, what you would do is you take the seal off of this, okay, this is an eye wash station, and you help the person hold their eyelids open and you dump this into their eyes because what this does is it helps stop many chemicals from reacting. So if you got an acid in your eye, this will stop the acid. If you got something that's a base, which is called alkaline, like drain cleaner in your eye and it's hurting you, this will stop that. So this basically helps to react with acids and bases and stop both, okay? If something's on your skin, you follow the, basically the same procedure. If something's ever on your skin hurting you, cold water and soap, okay? And then you would pour on this uh, chemical... Um, what's it called? A buffered solution, meaning it works for acids and bases. All right, there you go.